there is no way that this is happening as the Toronto Blue Jays are being plagued with serious injuries across the board. And one of these injury updates is not only going to surprise us Jays fans, it is going to be one of the most disappointing things that we've heard in a while. So I'm going to break that down and much more in this episode, as well as a Matt Chapman update from free agency. He spoke out on how close he was to signing with the Toronto Blue Jays. Stay tuned for all that. Before we do, if you're a part of the percentage you aren't subscribed, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to Peter and myself as we're on the road to 14,000 subscribers. And the Jays, obviously, they won yesterday's game against the Giants. But in that game, there was a lot of injuries that occurred. And some of them aren't going to be too serious. I'm sure we'll hear more about those throughout the next couple days and maybe even into tonight before they play the Giants again. But it's about time we talk about how this cannot be happening for the Toronto Blue Jays, specifically regarding one specific player that really has been plagued with injuries the entire season. And folks, this is a bit of a rough one. Ricky Tiedemann, the Jays needed a, the Blue Jays needed a big year from the firm system and it hasn't worked out. Tiedemann is hurt again. Martinez is suspended. Injuries and poor performance have left their pitching depth thin beyond their veteran MLB rotation. This system needs a serious injection of talent and that is following the report that the Jays, Toronto Blue Jays' number one prospect, Ricky Tiedemann, has left tonight's game, which was yesterday. A start in AAA with left forearm soreness or tightness. Another blow for Tiedemann, who just can't seem to get back to normal or settle in any sort of routine. And obviously, he pitched three games for single A, and I made a video on him a few days ago about how exciting it was to have him back, and how given the fact that they could trade Yusei Kikuchi and probably are going to trade Yusei Kikuchi, how important it is going to be for Ricky Tiedemann to get some good reps in AAA with the Buffalo Bisons and then potentially be able to slide into that spot with the Toronto Blue Jays in their rotation, at least to get a taste, at least to get a taste of MLB experience. And he gets, he was on track. This was the start where he was supposed to ramp up to 80 pitches and he goes out and he suffers from right sore arm or right forearm tightness, not right sore arm, right forearm tightness. Now, the good thing is, and I mentioned this in the broadcast in yesterday's game, right forearm tightness, at least it's tightness and not anything crazy at this point now there is a chance that this ends up being something more serious obviously it is tightness which is not good and i don't know whenever you hear forearm tightness it's not a great sign but everyone is just going to hope that he is okay but in a year where the blue jays needed to have a very healthy firm system we had martinez called up he played one game and then he gets suspended for peds you have tiedemann who's supposed to maybe even make an impact early on for the toronto blue jays make it out of spring training camp and he got hurt in spring training, and then he got hurt again and again and again. And now it's at the point now where this season, depending on how severe this injury is, is probably up in the air. And there's some doubt. There's some doubt about whether Ricky Tiedemann is going to start this year. He probably will not pitch for the Jays this year if this is any sort of serious injury. But not only is he not going to pitch this year if it's any sort of serious injury at all, he might not even, depending how this is, he's following a similar tra trajectory to Nate Pearson where he kept battling with injuries, kept battling with injuries, kept battling with injuries to the point where he couldn't build up his pitches enough to be able to pitch and start for minor leagues, for the major leagues. And now, obviously, he's turned into a very, fairly effective, fairly effective bullpen piece for the Toronto Blue Jays. But this is a guy who was supposed to be the ace in the rotation. He's a top 50 prospect in baseball. He needs to be able to get his pitches ramped up. And that has been the biggest question mark for Ricky Tiedemann was, will he be able to get his pitches ramped up enough for him to become a starter in this league with the Toronto Blue Jays? And he has not been able to. There were question marks about him even pitching for the Jays last year. It didn't happen due to injuries and just due to him not being ramped up. This year, injury. He's been battling with injuries now for so long, whether it was forearm tightness, whether it was a couple years ago, him not being able to ramp up to become a starter in the minor leagues because his pitches haven't been able to get up enough. We know that he was doing 20 to 25 pitch stints for a while. And now in his start that was supposed to finally have things come together and get 80 pitches, which is enough to, if you have a few 80 pitch starts in a row to make a major league team, with the Toronto Blue Jays, he gets hurt with tightness. Now, let me know in the comments your thoughts are on this. I don't know how this keeps happening for the Jays. I don't know how this this stuff continues to, to happen to the Toronto Blue Jays of all teams. And it's absolutely devastating. But on the same day that this happened, and this happened yesterday as at the time of the upload, Fursho was removed from last night's game with a knee contusion. He should be okay. It is only a knee contusion. But bear with me here. Bo Bichette left the game. Leo Jimenez entered as the shortstop. That is two injuries. And then, again, a couple days ago, Jimmy Garcia was scheduled to pitch for the Buffalo Bisons, but was scrapped due to his stiff neck. Issue was considered minor. He's now scheduled to pitch for Buffalo on Wednesday. But the point of this is, in yesterday's game, there was injury after injury after injury. And no, it's not. Injuries are not what plagued the Blue Jays season. The reason that the Blue Jays lost are, are one of the worst teams in baseball. 
it's obviously a lack of performance, lack of personnel, all these things. But when you look at the team as of late, horrible timing for injuries. You have IKF, who was almost surely going to be dealt at this year's trade deadline. He's been one of the shining stars of the Toronto Blue Jays season. An unbelievable signing by Ross Atkins. He got hurt right before the, the trade deadline. Not right before. The trade deadline's in 19 days or so. It's on uh, July 30th. But he would have got traded for good pieces because he's on that one-year deal. You think about the bullpen. Obviously, Chad Green is healthy now. Jordan Romano, Jimmy Garcia. The bullpen has been severely plagued and has been one of the reasons the Jays are so bad. Obviously, they won yesterday's game, but it's the reason that they've been so bad. And you look at all these injuries that are happening. We don't know the severity of a lot of these. Fresher should be fine. Garcia should be fine. But it's just kind of the point of what a wild, wild season for the Toronto Blue Jays. And really, the season from hell for the Jays, whether it's from the injury perspective, performance perspective, whatever it is, there's very few sheds of light for this Toronto Blue Jays team. And if Ricky Tiedemann, who was supposed to be one of the sheds of light, along with the Relvis Martinez and a lot of these prospects that have continued to shine, specifically Spencer Horwitz, it makes the season even harder to swallow because not only are you losing a season of winning Toronto baseball, potentially making the playoffs and, you know, one more year of that Bowen Vladdy contract before they head to free agency, you're losing out on your prospects having a chance to develop at the major league or minor league level with Relvis not being able to play any baseball for 80 games. Spencer Horwitz, obviously, he's been the one guy and one exception to the rule. But Ricky Tiedemann not being able to start now for, we don't know how severe this injury is. Uh, we probably will at some point soon. But brutal, just absolutely brutal. Let me know in the comments if you feel the same sentiment. Just a handful of injuries, handful of unfortunate events this season. It's culminating in what has been one of the most disappointing seasons in Blue Jays' uh, recent memory, at least. But speaking of disappointments, not really disappointments, but an interesting thing. Wild Chapman update. And we're obviously playing the San Francisco Giants where Matt Chapman decided to sign with uh, the Giants. He came out and said some very interesting things about his time in Toronto and how he almost was a Toronto Blue Jay again. He said the Matt Chapman says the Blue Jays kind of came in there at the end of his free agency, but he was already too far down the road with the Giants at that point. And he adds that I've been really, he really enjoyed both his years there and I appreciate them giving me the opportunity. And the full quote says it was a really strange offseason. I didn't get as many calls or offers as I thought I would. Just kind of a weird market, weird year. I don't, I didn't talk to the Jays a whole lot. They basically came in there at the end because they were prioritized and preoccupied, uh, prioritizing sorry and preoccupied with Shohei Otani so it was slow progressing and ultimately they didn't get it done just an interesting thing and I think ultimately they made the right call passing on Matt Chapman and sticking with IKF and whoever else they brought in but it was an interesting and kind of brings some light to the fact that the Jays were all in on Otani and they didn't really have a backup plan after that and they they then scrambled to get Kiermaier they scrambled to get IKF they scrambled to get a lot of these guys following missing out on Otani and it's ultimately culminated in what has been a disastrous season and hopefully the Jays can start to turn it around they obviously got a win yesterday which is a good starting point for this but it's gonna be rough to see what happens next and hopefully some big moves come they blow it up a little bit get some prospects back so we can start to refill that prospect pool but that'll wrap it up thank you guys for watching